Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at a few different ways to synchronize your Windows clock with an internet time server if you need it. So, we have Windows 10, Windows 7, 8, the control panel, or the command prompt. You can actually go to start settings, time, and language, date, and time. I like to right click on your clock, click on adjust date and time, and of course while you're here you can make sure your time zone is set automatically. Set your date however you want but here's what you're looking for sync now and don't forget your time zone so just check everything if your clock's off while you're here click on sync now and once you see that check mark you are done windows 7 and 8 and for i don't know how long windows 10 still has a control panel we're going to press the windows key plus s and windows 10 to open it up if you're on windows 7 or 8 go ahead and click start settings control panel and here we are at the old control panel. We're going to click on clock and region, date and time. Right here, make sure you have category view enabled. Clock and region, date and time. Internet time tab. And you see it's set automatically. Click on change settings. Verify that this is checked. You can see the control panel takes a lot more steps and click on update. Now, it will then tell you that the clock was successfully synchronized at the time that you do it. Close everything out with the OK buttons, the X's, etc. Now, last but not least, if for some reason you can't access either one of those two, we can play around in the command prompt. Plus, it's just fun. If you like, by the way, look for the little eye up here. That will give you a link to come to this tutorial if you'd like to follow along. And when I finish the video, it will be, it will be embedded right here. All right. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Control panel. Command prompt. All right. Windows 10. Windows key plus S. CMD. And I always run as administrator by default. I don't know if you need to on this one or not, but... I just figure better safe and sorry. You can also do PowerShell, which is your Windows key plus X. And there's your Windows PowerShell. Now there's a couple of errors that may pop up when you do this. I'm gonna play with PowerShell. Let's scroll this down so you can see it. So we're going to either copy and paste this or type it in. So you can see it's W32TM space forward slash Space, I think. Is there a space in there? Let's find out. No, there's not. Forward slash resync. So you make it an error. Let's take a look. And take note, there's two different ones. Net time, space forward slash domain. So it depends whether you're connected to a domain or joined to a domain or not. So I am not, so I'm going to do this. And that's it. Now, I have done it before and got an error message. Here they are. The service has not been started. That means exactly what you think. The service isn't running. So copy this code here. Type that in. Net space start space W32 time. As you can see, mine obviously worked fine. So it tells me the service has already been started. If not, the service will start for you. Another one that's interesting is this error message. The computer did not resync because no time data was available. Interestingly enough, the fix for that is to Type whichever line you're using. Most of you will be using this. Do it again. Do it again. And just give it a few tries until it works, if you get that error message. That is it. There's a few different ways. You got any other ideas? Feel free to leave a comment. Bottom right corner is the Major Geeks logo here where you can click on subscribe if you like. And uh, we appreciate you watching as always. See ya.